Welcome to yet another special video about a special bike coming to you straight from NMW. This of course is the Yamaha RD350. It needs no introduction. Uh, well, before we go ahead into the video, I want you to take a look at the sound. Just give it a listen. <laughs> That is just lovely. So here is the Yamaha RD350 and this one is quite a special one because well as you can see it's bone stock. Well this is a bike which has gained cult stature in India well across the world actually uh, where people have gotten to modifying it, owning it, paying hefty prices to buy one and then they make it their own, they modify it, customize it according to their taste but this one Oh no, this one is bone stock. This one is just as it left the factory. Uh, quite a few bits on it are original. For example, this tire here made by Dunlop. This is made in 1999. Uh, of course, the original tire might have worn out by then because this bike was produced in the 80s. Uh, so. The front tire was changed of course but still it is 1999 which in 2020 makes it 21 years old just the tire and then we get to the mirrors we see it is made by escorts for rajdoot so it is original and then you've got the headlamps the indicators the mud guard you've got the brakes the 150 mm drum brakes which are all original once again uh, you've got this crash guard you've got the engine before we get to that the gear lever which has been modified just a bit to add a bit of comfort to it uh, for shifting you got a heel shifter as well and then you've got these carburetors made by Mikuni in Japan you got the choke lever which of course is again original you've got the original fuel tap the original bores, no modifications, no rebores. Wow, this bike is just amazing. You've got this original Odo Taco. This original instrument cluster, well, it is just 15,000 kilometers. Now, this is an amazing bike. Of course, the rear wheel, rear tire has worn out over a span of time, and this is brand new, the rear tire. Other than that, it's stock. This is a low torque model uh, which was introduced later once Yamaha found out that the high torque model was creating quite uh, a lot of accidents. Uh, it could be due to the fact that Indians didn't have this powerful a bike back then. Uh, in the 80s you had bikes like the ESD, you had the Bullet 350 and that's only a few to name because this was the most powerful bike back then. In fact, it was the first bike in India to come with a tachometer. That's right, now we are used to this feature even on small bikes, 125, 135cc bikes, but this 350cc was the first one to come with a tachometer way back in the 80s. Uh, low torque model came with 27 bhp, uh, which is about 4 bhp lesser than the high torque model. And uh, well, this is such a beautiful bike. Uh, of course, it has been maintained well over the years. It is over 30 years old and it has been maintained so well. Uh, kudos to the owner and of course to NMW for keeping this in this condition going strong, going great. Now I want to take your attention to quite a few other special bikes as well. This is the Yamaha RD400 and that is the Yamaha RD400 Daytona special. You've got another RD350 there but that kind of fades in comparison to these two. Now these two are special models that were sold in the US market uh, especially the Daytona Special well that is quite a special bike you've got the uh, cast wheels one of the first bikes in the world to use cast wheels it came with disc brakes on both ends whereas the Indian model came with drum brakes and of course this one had more power we are, to we are talking about 44 bhp coming from this twin cylinder two stroke engine uh, if you can see the carburetors on this two are stock uh, this is how the bike came with you will see this special adapters for the spark plugs and then 
you know you've got these huge brake calipers and of course they're not drilled or slotted uh, disc brakes it is just cast and it's quite a beauty I tell you it's just amazing what Yamaha achieved back in the 80s uh, with these bikes with this one and then you've got this finished in a neat shade of silver maintained very well uh, you've got the original wheels the original sprocket and of course the original instrument cluster which as you can see is quite different from the one that we got in India which you saw on that bike there uh, this one if you can see has markings in miles per hour as well and it has got 140 miles per hour or 220 kilometers per hour on the speedometer uh, these bikes could achieve a top speed of more than 170 175 kilometers per hour whereas the Indian one well that did about 160 kilometers per hour which even by today's standards uh, nearly three decades later is still a high top speed now we know why it was often referred to as yamaha race death 350 it was often referred to as rd the rd was referred to as race death uh, but uh, you know it's actually stands for race derived but these are beautiful motorcycles that you know it 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 surpasses the motorcycles of today by a huge margin and uh, these bikes well if you want a place to keep these kind of bikes running you want to modify them or you want to keep them running well you've got nmw to go to because we know these bikes in and out in fact nmw began uh, the legacy of nmw began when the owner, founder, Nisar Khan started tuning his RD350s, racing them. Uh, in fact, you've got two RD350s in here that I want to show you quickly. And these are legends in themselves in the Indian motorsport circuit. Uh, not going to give you a close look as to what is in them, what goes into them because these are super fast bikes. But these are awesome, awesome bikes that have ruled the... Indian drag racing scene for quite a few years now and these are stock bikes for the road well you got any RD350 needs you've got NMW to go to because we have modified parts we have we have we have OEM parts we have all original parts as well so for all your Yamaha RD350, RD400, LC350, LC400, LC500 needs you've got NMW Enterprises and well if you have one of these beauties kudos to you for keeping them for having them and for giving us an opportunity to look at these beauties even in this time and age thanks for watching uh, do stay tuned for a full ride review of these bikes that will happen soon but until then Stay tuned to NMW.